Welcome back to Haunted's House on another episode of Medieval Dynasty. I ha This is my first test I'm going to do with automation of farming. So I just got her hired. Um, there was some fertilized, not planted. It, so I went to the management screen here on these on the fields. And I customized it so she would start start uh, working on that. And I just wanted to test this management field op. Okay, she's got her work clothes on. She's going to it. I'm probably going to put, put a road and eventually maybe some fences just to kind of separate the two. So this is my first automation test. And so far, so good. Okay, well everything's going according to plan. Good, good. What I'm wondering is in the season change to autumn, and I'm gonna wanna redo these fields because it's gonna be different crops. If right when I wake up in season change, I get on these fields and then um, clear it before they start doing anything because if there's wheat in some of those spots, they're going to start planting it there, and I may want to rearrange because it's going to be the wheat and the oats and the rye and the autumn. So I just have to remember that when I wake up in fall because I don't know if I do it now. She would just clear everything out, and then I would be out of all my crops, so I don't even want to try that. Okay, so now that that's working, um, I think our next goal our next goal is to build another house because I want to bring in an more people yet the question is do I want to bring in another farmer or somebody that is capable of working a workshop in a smithy because I believe that's under production production workshop kitchen and smithy and sewing and we don't have any production workers yet we have a hunter a lumberjack and we hired Erica she's 
three in farming and a three in excavation. So, um, okay. So, I think I am going to. build another house and I'll do that off camera and maybe I'll put it if I can even build we'll see okay well I'm gonna build another house and we'll see you after that all right guys I built some stuff I um, no, I said I was just going to build one house, but hey, we got to go big or go home, right? So this, built this house, and then, we built that house, so that's two more houses, and we built another wood shed, and an excavation shed, so... The next step is going around the towns looking for more NPCs to hire in. And uh, the good thing about this, because we need a lot more logs and planks for building, and they can gather straw and stone out of this. So, what I did, because right now I got no work in the field, so that allowed me to bring. Erica, because she's an expert in both fields, threes. Now that, you know, she didn't have anything to do in the farm shed. So now I moved her to here. And until I get other NPCs here, depending, you know, which ones I find, then I can have her either work either of these two and or go back to the fields, so that'll work out sweet. So now I'm utilizing Erica actually gaining some supplies for the camp without, instead of just sitting in her house sleeping because there's nothing to do on the fields or the barn right now, so. So that's what we did there, and... It's really popping off. Now we just got to find some more NPCs to move on in here. And I think I had some manure I bought that I can turn to fertilizer. Let's see, what does it take to make? Not that I need Dob, just out of curiosity. 10 clay and straw. All right. Um. We've just achieved a new level of farming. Um, we're definitely going to want... Faster cutting trees, that would be nice. Mining fast. We're going to go to Woodcutter's Trance, I think. Whoa, we have no skill points to spend. Okay. So, later if we want to change this. We're going to need to get a potion of possibilities, I think it's called. And then you can change 
So we'd probably take Treasure Hunter off with Clay. And whatever else we've that'll be later. Anyways. Um Yeah, I'll clip the rest out. We're gonna go town to town and then when we get to the towns look for NPCs, I'll uh I'll clip it in from there. Day sixteen, so we still have uh fourteen days until autumn so we got a lot of time to look for those npcs so no rush all right we'll continue then well we have found some npcs right now it's just a stormy rainy day out there it is still it's day 17 And let's see what time is it right now? Twenty forty six, so I think it's in the middle of the night. Maybe if we just sleep it. It's still raining, but at least it's light out. Oh, she's out the door. The wife is going to it. Okay, so we picked up uh, this guy, Rasabor, and uh, he has a two in farming and a two in excavation. I needed to get some um, males moved in here so I can keep my uh, settlement going without it going extinct because I was I had all females at first so Rasabor is gonna he's in mining right now and then let's see where's our other new guy Yeah, that. Oh. So that's Rasavor's house. He's living there alone right now. Uh, this is Leopolda's house. She was our first resident. But now... Um, we moved this guy in with her. He, this is the only two besides me and my wife that are living together. Hello. See you soon. And this guy, so Leopoldo will probably be married and having a child. She is the oldest. She is, I think, twenty. Treating you? She's twenty-six, so she's the oldest out soon. of the females. And since she was the first resident, we figured we'd give her a mate, and she's getting older. And this guy, P R Z E D W U J. I do not know how to pronounce his name. Just call him Big P. <laughs> and he has two in farming, two in production, and he can also do two in fishing. So we got him. A craftsman. Then we found her. Her excellent find three in excavation and three in farming. Plus, she can even do everything else in twos. So she is excellent. We got her on a mining right now, as it stands. And then we had Erica, as you know, she's got three. And farming three and excavation, so 
We can pull her to the field if we need her in autumn. Um, let's see. Okay, we got him working in, in the workbench. He's just kind of crafting some things that we'll probably just be able to sell. Um, right now, he's just making a little wood vial, I believe. So he's working for us. And, you know, I don't want to build too fast, so I feel like things are going pretty smooth. See, we got Rasabor. Let's see, where is he stationed? I think we got him in was it woodshed two? No, Erica's woodshed two, Leopolda's one. Oh, he's in Oh yeah, because you can have okay, you can have two people in excavation, so excavation so we got those two so the shed gathers stone clay limestone straw so yeah we got two of them there Rasmore's mood is still going up. They're pretty happy. He's just heading out into the woods. Let's see what else? Oh yeah, we were running out of storage. I tried putting this road. I did put this road in. And then what I notice is it seems like it might have got into the plot a little bit, but hopefully it won't mess it up. Otherwise, we'll tear it down. But uh, yeah, we just separated the two fields here. Oh yeah, I threw down some unripe berries. So anyways, we still have quite a few days until fall. So right now we can pretty much do whatever we feel like. So I'm going to decide on what I'm going to do now and then we'll clip to that. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the food storage. We're going to check to see what we all have in here. Some of the stuff I imagine is going to get rotten because we got quite a bit. Well, they did eat some of those cabbages. Oh, yeah, and we did, uh, we did find a pair of new trousers on the shore, so it's pretty sweet. Plus, it are better. Better boost. We're gonna throw some more stuff in here.
yeah, as you can see, we got like way abundance of food, but we just moved in some people. So we'll take 30 of these back out. We'll probably end up si selling like some stuff or using it for fertilizer or rot or whatever. So yeah, we got our settlement going. Seems to be going smooth so far and every time you move somebody in, you're gonna wanna go to your manage screen and then check out to see if everything's meeting their needs. So like I went to hunting lodge and see so scroll over this. Everything's in the green. Demands are only 6.29. You know, she's got three in hunting, so she produces a lot. So she's getting over 10 extra pieces a day. So yeah, you just got to, once you move people in, you just want to keep an eye on what's in the red and then also you can ask your uh, wife if um, there's any problems within the settlement when you talk to her Hello. so you can be let's see not when she's working though I don't think oh how's our little kingdom doing everything is going smoothly see so everything is set up great um, as far as securing our dynasty and getting an heir, we're both only, let's see, she's 21. For some reason I thought she was 18. I, I guess I forgot that detail. My guy is 18. So probably next season or the season after that, for sure. Um, see, I think we have to craft a bow on a challenge. Um, bow. One linen thread and one log. I think we might have, actually we had a stash. Oh, and then if I, we ran out of resource storage, so we had unlocked resource storage two which is bigger so I just slapped it right behind the other one so we actually got resource storage one resource storage two but it seems to me that no matter what chest you go into it's still the same stuff it just adds extra weight so we can hold up to 3,000 kilograms so Okay, he is making some buckets, so I might be able to just fill those with water. We don't have anybody working in the well. We don't need anybody in there right now. Um, so to craft the bow, we needed one log and one linen thread. We got that. So let's grab a log. Let's grab a thread. See if we can, if we craft a bow, if that does that challenge. Okay, let's see if this works. Yep, and then we had fought, then it went to the next challenge because apparently we had enough villagers. Village inhabitants, 7 out of 10. Okay, so you need next challenge to have 10. I'm not going to feel rushed on that.
So I did, I, funny story, I did thought, I did think that I was actually recording a whole bunch, and then I forgot to record the clip, so <laughs> this is going to be a short episode. Uh, long story short, we built this house, decided we wanted somebody working in our smithy, get us some extra money, and we hired... Rosalinda, which she is on her way from uh, Lesnica, and she's a three in production, Diplomat three and S Excavate three, so she's a good find, and she's going to be working in our smithy. We set it all up, and uh, yeah, guys, sorry that I. Uh, Apparently forgot to hit record when we ran the Lesnica and uh, recruited this girl. So we're just going to have it as a short episode then because that's, <laughs> that's my bad for not recording. All right. So when we continue, the way we got it set up is uh, we did what we could. We're going to have her making some stone arrows and some stone knives and stuff in it even though I adjusted my wood sheds or and my um, excavation shed it seems like we're falling just a tin short on stones stones and sticks let's see which, yeah, I can gather s some stuff, but still I'd like it to be in the green. So I'll have to try to figure that out. Because when we, after we put her into smithy, when you go to that, you go to management. Um, even though we even turned the intensity down of what we want her to make, uh, maybe we won't have her make these. We're still short stick stones, feathers. So we're probably going to get the hens. But, um, so we'll just turn the intensity down. So she'll have an easy job till we figure out what we're going to do about that. Yeah, this one was pretty much just an info vid, and next time I will not forget to hit record on the, uh, <laughs> that was the length of the video, so, alright guys, have a good one, we'll see you in the next one.